Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are going to make golden whisper candle. It's a basic technique, but it can be challenging to achieve a high gloss. To get started, we'll need 200 grams of paraffin wax and a 1% active called AC6. AC6 can reduce air bubbles and frosty appearance, but too much of it will cause whitening. If you can't find AC6 from the local stores, you can use a Viber 103 as replacement. First, let's thread the wick, through the mold with putty, and warp the entire mold with a heat gun. Pour the wax at around 110 Celsius and make sure to fill the mold up. The next step is to wait for half an hour. Paraffin wax should be poured at a high temperature to get a high gorgeous finish. If you want to add fragrance oil, you should only add it at a lower temperature which means the candle will be less glossy and more a matte finish. Now you will see a white circle on top, which means it's time to pour out the wax into the pot. I quickly scrape the lights with chopsticks. Then attach the gold leaves with the brush. For a light color candle, it's best to create a color gradient. So I remelt the wax and adjust it to a light red color. Then, pour it halfway into the mold at 75 to 80 Celsius and quickly rotate it so that the entire mold is covered with a layer of light red wax. Repeat this process three times. Afterwards, Use chopsticks to scrape out the lights and immediately put gold leaves there again. If you attach the gold leaves too slow, they may not stick well. I usually repeat this process twice. More gold leaves look better. But I don't recommend burning this kind of candle because it will produce a lot of smoke. If you want to burn it, you can add fewer gold leaves or add most of them to the bottom or glue them on the outside.
Now, it's time to reheat the remaining wax and pour 90% of it into the mold at around 65 to 17 Celsius. If you want to add fragrance oil, this is the perfect time to do it. When using paraffin wax, there are a couple of things you should keep in mind. Firstly, it produces more smoke than soy wax or beef wax when burned. Whenever I sell my paraffin wax candles, I always make this clear to my customers. Secondly, paraffin wax is slightly transparent. If you add fragrance oil, make sure to stir it thoroughly. Otherwise, there will be some oil spots on the outside. Next, I use the heat gun to clear up the bottom part and disperse the air bubbles. This step is not necessary, but I don't like bubbles in this type of candle. Alright, let's wait for about one hour. Now we can see a hole at the bottom. I used the heat gun to melt the surface slightly and fill the hole with some of the remaining 10% wax. Usually, a perfect wax candle takes around 3 hours to demold. But I was busy last night and had to demold it this morning. Then the bottom flat and trim the wick. You can see that it has very strong luster and lines from where I scrape and apply the gold. Also, the color will have a layered appearance. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe clandestine craft candles. More videos to come.